Sing hallelujah. Three times 
battling when you're going through. You better sing it like you're battling. Seven times perfection, ready? Now I want you to give me infinity, are you ready? Infinity, keep going, go! to know, don't. Oh, God. If you don't remember nothing else, don't give, don't give up on the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't give up. Don't give up on God. That's not right here.
life's day will soon be o'er and all our storms forever past we will cross the great divide no human help inside to glory safe at last we'll share the joys of heaven a home a home and a crown and you know what the tempter I said the tempter that old sleeper he will be bound embarrassment all the things people say about you behind your back the promotions you didn't get the things that happen at work life trials will seem so small guess what when we see Christ just one glimpse of the understanding. Anthony, Baker, Duran, you know, hallelujah, know you are in the ranks of the shepherd, even as every shepherd at this point put their hands upon you, you are now declared a shepherd. People of God and congregation, I now present to you Sean Anthony Baker Duran. God bless you. Pastor Sean Anthony Baker Duran. Receive him in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. We have one more item to give to Sean. We are going to give him his rod and we are going to give him 
his staff. The rod and staff. A lot of people think the rod and the staff are mm. two different things. But the rod and the staff is with a hook. The rod is the long part of the, 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 that instrument to struck the hero one. To struck the thieves and to struck the wolves when they come. And that hook part is to pull the sheep in. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Without your rod and your staff. God bless you. To honor this moment, we are also giving you a certificate. In addition to you presenting yourself in the next couple of days before the New York government to apply for your marriage license we are now giving you your recognition for the world your certificate he got the whole world in his hands he's taking over this charter sorry good god almighty seeing that the holy ghost wanna do another thing with the anointed man of god rock hey praise the name of jesus he got the whole world. Sometimes it looked dismal. Sometimes it looked impossible like Jordan. Talk to me. But I, I'm wondering if you're hearing the word. And something starts stirring in your spirit yet. Because God is sending one some of you to go back some challenges that seem impossible. Mm, God here to tell you, get one more lick and I'll stop licking till it goes. Hey, I hear me somebody. I, I will not. I will not. I will not let me go. I will wrestle till the break of day. Of mercy. I have some contention to go face tomorrow morning. And I can't do it by myself. I need a special anointing. And the angel said, The dear break it. And the man of God who had faith in God said, That is your problem. If dear break not to catch you and your shift about to expire, that is your problem. You should have never come. But since you come, oh God, can a man physically manage an angel? No. So it had to be the praying that locked the angel, the man feet and prayer. Lock, oh God. And the word that he got from God that I am going to be with you, I'm taking you back home. Tomorrow morning I have peace on my brother to face. I've got contention on the way. And I'm not certain if I am going to live to see the setting of the sun tomorrow. But tonight into the break this morning. Hallelujah. What something that satisfies. Something that makes a difference. I know it get difficult sometimes and it seems as if Jordan stands in your way but I won't have to cross Jordan alone Jesus died all my sins to a town when the darkness I see it will be waiting for me And I thank God for that organization because it was the foundation for everything. Amen? I don't have a negative word about Beulah Church of God, Seventh Day. Amen? Sister Jackie, God bless you. Hold on, sir. I'm going to get to you. My sister, 
Maxine Reed from Genesis Church of God, Seventh Day. When I first came to Beulah Church of God, there were a number of people that took to me and saw me as a son. And they were mothers to me, literally mothers to me. And sister, I know you're a pastor because I was there. <laughs> but forever and ever, amen, you are my sister. You are my mother in Christ. I acknowledge you, I respect you, and with all the agape that God has to pour out, I love you, my sister. Amen? Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Taylor, I already gave you a piece of the acknowledgement. A piece. God has put some people around me that I feel like I, I am so surrounded by his glory through the servants he's placed around me. And Pastor Taylor, you are one. I thank you for your encouragement. I thank you for standing here with me today. There are so many words that she's poured into my life and I don't even realize, I don't think she realizes what she has done. God bless you, Pastor Taylor. Pastor David Reed, God bless you, sir. I am thankful to you. I am thankful to you. Your words of encouragement, I receive them. I keep them in my heart. And I pray that as you lead Genesis Church of God Seventh Day, that the anointing of God will govern, will continue to govern over you and your ministry and your family. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor, excuse me, Reverend Fordyce. When you were praying, we were all singing, we are standing on holy ground. He leadeth me, pardon me, he leadeth me. And I tell you the truth, your words pierced through the song. And I receive them as God gives you utterance. And I tell you thanks for being here with me this evening. Amen. God bless you and your ministry. Mama J. <laughs> Pastor Johnson. Mama J. What can I say? What can we say? Mama J is a woman who is powerful in the Lord. Amen? Powerful in the Lord. If you know someone, and I am telling you this for a fact because I've witnessed it more than once. If you know someone who has an illness, if you know someone where doctors have given them up for dead, remember this address and bring them to Pastor Johnson and let her pray on their behalf. Because we have seen cancer removed. You're not hearing me. 